Hey guys, welcome to another episode of One on One with Dr. Akash Bajaj. I'm a triple board certified physician here bringing you rituals and routines based on the science that you can begin to use right away to keep yourself resilient and robust. Today I'm going to talk to you about a procedure that's getting more and more popular and also building more and more clinical evidence to determine that it is indeed helpful and a superior option to some conservative therapies. And that procedure is called PRP or platelet rich plasma. So let's go ahead and get into it. Unlocking the secrets of longevity, anti-aging and peak performance. Dive deep into the world of biohacking, explore groundbreaking medical advances and uncover the keys to living your best life at any age. This is One on One with Dr. Bajaj, where science meets life and vitality knows no limits. Now, before we get into how it works and all that, let's just talk about what it is. So PRP, platelet-rich plasma, is basically purifying or concentrating one part of your blood and then allowing that part of your blood to help heal yourself. So your blood, generally speaking, is made up of four individual components. One is called plasma, one is called red blood cells, one is white blood cells, and then finally platelets. So what we're able to do with today's medical technology is we're able to actually separate the platelets from the rest of the blood components. And then those platelets can then help heal the problem. Practically speaking, what happens is you may come into your doctor's office and they'll do a blood draw from, from you that day. They'll place it in a special centrifuge which spins at a very, very high velocity. And that high velocity allows the components of the blood to actually separate. And then once they're separated, one can actually withdraw or extract the platelets. And then we can inject those platelets specifically into an area. So why would we need PRP? What types of injuries or types of problems may benefit from PRP? Well, currently, it's being used quite a bit in the musculoskeletal and orthopedic space for things like tendon issues, tendonitis, tendinosis, joint pain, even in the spine with things like epidurals, facets, things like that. So facets are basically an arthritic change in the spine. And oftentimes, something like PRP can help with that. And nerve pain as well, like sciatica type pain, all sorts of different potential considerations. There's also indications that PRP might be helpful in another space, specifically the aesthetic space for things like alopecia, but we're not going to discuss that today. So think about, you know, kind of joint pain, degenerative joint pain, you're dealing with chronic knee pain, hip pain, back pain, elbow pain, things of this nature. Maybe you've tried and failed conservative therapies. That might include physical therapy, chiropractic care, maybe even cortisone injections, and nothing's really worked. At this point, you may want to consider something like PRP. Once that PRP is obtained from that blood draw after the centrifuge has separated the platelets, it can then be injected directly into the affected area. Now, depending on what we're treating, the injection might take place either what we call blind, meaning just in a clinical setting where the physician or clinician may just inject directly into the area. It can be done under fluoroscopic guidance, which basically means the procedure will be completed under a live x-ray. It can also be done under ultrasound guidance, which means the imaging modality will be ultrasound to help guide the PRP to the affected area. Now, to determine what modality one chooses is really up to the provider, up to the clinician. So really speak to your clinician about that and kind of understand the reasons why the imaging modality is being chosen. So how does it work? Meaning, why would platelets help heal anything? Because as far as we've been taught, generally speaking, platelets really are good for blood clotting, right? But the reality is platelets also have a host of other things within them. They have something called growth factors within the platelets themselves, as well as something called cytokines. Now, these two types of molecules can actually help promote healing of a chronically injured or chronically inflamed problem. So, in essence, what we do is we deposit the platelets into the affected area via the injection. And once the platelets are deposited there, think about this almost like you're bringing in reinforcements to help kind of support the body's immune system to heal the underlying problem so the problem goes away. That's the primary method of how PRP works. 
However, there is a very interesting secondary mechanism of PRP, and that is there is a secondary increase in your body's own immune response after exposure to PRP. Now, why is that? Well, literally, instantly, your body will suddenly see a collection of platelets in an area where there were not any platelets before. So this can almost trick your body into believing there is a new injury at that particular site. And if your body begins to think there is a new acute injury, your body's own immune system will then activate and increase its own activity to help accelerate the healing process. This is why, practically speaking, sometimes after a PRP injection, one may begin to feel kind of like they're getting sick or like malaise or a fever or just like they need to lie down and chill out for a couple of days. This is specifically why, because their own body is starting to get a bit activated and and the immune system is starting to do its work. So PRP can be a superior option to something like cortisone injections, even things like prolotherapy, which is a little bit old school at this point, and some other options. Although it is still considered to be somewhat experimental at this point, there is a growing body of evidence to support PRP. And in addition to that, you know, we try to look at things in medicine as risk versus benefit. Your potential benefit from something like a PRP injection is very, very high. You're going to promote healing and hopefully mitigate or eliminate inflammation. And the negative or the risk is frankly very low because it's just purified components of your own blood you're really not looking at any sort of side effect from a medication or any sort of reaction from the medication itself. So the risk really is focused specifically on the risks of the procedure itself. And that's a risk you would have no matter what you're injecting. So you're really eliminating a complete body of risks by using purified components of your own blood. So ultimately, PRP is something that should be considered for those who maybe have tried and failed conservative therapies, other people who are trying to avoid or delay surgery. Although there is research currently, there is a growing body of research, and it is still considered to be somewhat experimental. So most insurance companies won't actually cover it. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of The Dr. Akash Show. And remember, the best time to start something was yesterday. The second best time is today. Don't look back tomorrow with regret. Take one small step today to get yourself maximally optimized. Thank you for tuning in. If you find any value in these episodes, any value in the show, please like and subscribe and share these episodes, specifically the ones you feel may help some of your friends and family.